Bruce here, and welcome to uh, Poke Hall Instagram uh, mini Poke Hall video number uh, mm, mm, 12, I think it's 12. I'm pretty sure it's 12. Okay, so the so five can read three uh, people. <laughs> so this one uh, I did write, didn't I? Is from a gifted Psyduck, and technically this is not a Pokemon, but it's from Instagram, so might as well. So this is a thank you for the support, you rock. So let's see what's inside. And I can't even open it. Okay, let's do it that way. Of course not, because you can't put the end. Okay. Now I'm forcing the slippy slips. Slippy slips, slippy slips. Oh, that's a lot of cake. Okay, so I'll just put the trash in here. Because, like, Turn these tiny pieces of tape. Won't go anywhere. I mean, actually, it won't go anywhere. Trash can, even though I'm right behind it. Okay, so let's see what it is. Um, Hip Hushining. Um, I'm guessing these are some extras too. Cool. Necrofusion. I know I got the Miss Star Boy, so I'll put that next to that. And this is one of the ones that I bought. Is the secret rare Gaga Sister? Because I've got a little page of the Gaga uh, -ga cards. And this is so pretty. Look at her. Oh, she's so cute too. Here we have the. Hagi, the poisonous Mayakashi. He looks pretty cool. We got summon sorceress. And Isolde. Two tales of the noble knights. You know when I look at that, it just reminds me of like the princess and the pauper. You know, or the Prince and the Pauper. You know, they got a Barbie version that is the Princess and the Rockstar. I'm not sure why I brought that up, but it has a nice song for it too. And yes, if you notice, I do collect some Barbie movies. I don't do the dolls though. Um, and we have a secret where the Weather Painter Snow. I only have one. So I thought, you know, I might as well buy another one. It was only nine dollars. And here we have the lovely secret rare Yuki Ona, the Ice Mayakashi. She's so pretty. I like the uh, that they made a uh, Japanese yokai type of theme bits. Now let me just get this. Um, for the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I ended up using the Yu-Gi-Oh sleeves instead of the normal sleeves I use for the uh, Pokemon because Pokemon cards are bigger than Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and 
it just gives a lot of texture, leeway for the cards to move, and I don't really like that. So I'm just going to leave up the really good one that I really like. I mean, so you can't, if you've seen it, you like, you, it does look like prin Princess and the Pauper, you know, Prince and the Pauper type of fairy tale. Is it a fairy tale or is it just a... Well, it's an old story, but I do like it. Didn't they have, let's see, I know the Barbie did an adaptation. They did two adaptations, actually. Because they actually did a Princess and the Popper one, as well as the Princess and the Rockstar one. You know, where they switch lives and stuff. But, um, I know that there's like an old, old BBC classic version of the Prince and the Popper. It slips my mind if there's any other adaptations, but it is a very good movie. You should watch it. If you have time. But, uh, that's like probably nothing to do with uh, <laughs> nothing to do with your gear whatsoever. But I thought, you know, bring some culture into this thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Do I even know what I'm saying? That's the thing. Um you know, I might have just stay it up. Or not, you know. This is my classified. But these ones I do not stay up with. So. I think out of these are very nice ones. It's kind of freaky that one, but uh, weird or freaky eyes. But I really like this one. It's so cute. And I really, really like these two. And it's just so pretty. And so pretty. Okay, so those are that. So just put that over there. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> Next we have, um, just so they're protected for now, we just pop these in this sleeve here. Guys, if you know me, I like keeping my things nice and tidy. Not necessarily tidy, but nice and neat. Okay, I'm just gonna snippy snip this on. I'm doing it off camera so I don't accidentally show my dress. Don't wanna do that. Okay. So here are from. Cards. Surprise! I sent you both cards as I don't collect team up. Thank you also for the trade. So, uh, he's already put up on his uh, Instagram what I traded him. But, let's see. Sweet. Here is a Zapdos reverse and a Zeraora hollow. Lovely. Thanks, man. Awesome. I don't have any of Zero One, that's why I was debating between these two. Because I didn't have a reverse hollow of that yet. Awesome. Thanks. That was a surprise. <laughs> so I'll put that over there. Put that with that for now. Okay, now we have from my Pokemon Cards UK. This was. Hmm, huh. I didn't notice that it was World Book Day on 
7th. Which is today. Is it today? Oh, I miss World Book Day during school time. The, uh, the book fair stuff. It's always so much fun. I didn't wish it was today. Because in school, we used to get, you know, World Book Day tokens that we can use on one new World Book Day exclusive books. So, as you see, thanks, RJ Rising. Uh, I'll be another sign card to put in my collection. Well, scrapbook, but yeah. Okay, so let's just put that over there for now. So these, it's a nice cardboard, but I might keep that for me. <laughs> I keep weird things, but yes, I'm weird. So here we have an Evolutions Electric Energy. And Base Set 2 Energy, uh, Grass Energy, and Base Set 2 Psychic Energy. And I've based it to water energy. So, so far that is the three separate people. So, let me just get these into slaves. Because I want to keep them protected. Because, like, yeah. I mean, well, technically we're like 10p per energy. But, I've recently started when I reorganized my energies, that some of them, I just, you know, on one page I put in the different single energies, like, but anyway, um, yeah, put that one in that okay, so that is awesome, so, those, yeah, so, we move the camera over here, this is my haul so far, so on to the next part. I've been under advisement to keep one to, you know, as a sealed thing. Uh, so I thought I might as well. So, which one should I keep? Right, left, right. No, it doesn't really matter. So let's open this up. I was obviously going to open one anyway because I have the pack art from my scrapbook. So I'll go over there. So, what cards are in this one? So, we have Eva Volpix, Ponyard, and a Lunity I like the Volpix. Nice and pretty. Right, so. Okay, I decided to put this in with the. Uh, Oh, wait, I forgot about this. Card list. Another reason why to get a uh, sampling pack is for the card list. So, voila. That's so long. Was it Team Up one of the longest ones? Is that? I don't know. 181? That's not counting the uh, reverse hollows. And there are a lot of reverse hollows, it looks like. Anyway, we got some advertisements. And code. 
6B9NNRQKCPCQR. Redeemable for the online game. And this is a. Uh, 60 card deck. Six. And from my experience, all codes are the same in all sampling packs. So, yes. I'll go in my scrapbook too. And here is. Uh, I decided to put this sampling pack inside the Instagram um, Poke Hall because it was Pokemon and there was only one pack. So I thought, you know, why not? Because, like, I wasn't sure where else to put it. Do I see glittery? A glittery card. Oh, this yes, glitter's gonna be everywhere, isn't it? Like, oh man. Okay. When I stick this in my, uh. Okay, as you can maybe see there. This. Wow, it's already on my hands. Okay. Um, as long as I don't put it on the playmat, I'm fine. Okay, so this is definitely going back inside. And back inside the yellow oh, man. And there is some glitter on the playmat. Okay. Um I'm definitely putting it back inside the envelope before I even stick it in my book. Scrapbook. Okay, so here is thank you for your precious. Enjoy Shadowless Gengar. Very lovely. This is going straight back inside the envelope. Because I don't want glitter everywhere. I don't know why they make cards that glitter falls off so easily. Okay. Alright, so that's the glitter monstrosity over there. And there's even glitter on this. But luckily, the pack is still sealed. I'm going to open it. Here is the, I think it was General Mills. I think. Let's go Kanto. Travel to the Kanto region to meet all types of Pokemon. From the electric type Pikachu to the elusive Kangaskhan, find all your favorites from the place where everyone, where everything began. I can't read. Okay, so this is exciting. Obviously, this is American, and they don't do serial promos in the UK. And if they do, I never see them. Okay, so this is one which we also, but my hands are still glittery. I mean, the glitter won't come off. Though, I put them on my PJ trousers. Won't work because I sleep in here. Oh well. Oh well. Okay. I mainly wanted it for the back part. But, this is exciting. Short stretching. Is the uh, Let's Go Canton checklist. Here's the uh, ad on the back. More ads. 
Pokemon TV, Cat Pokemon, Pokemon Playhouse, App Store, Google Play, Amazon App Store. Okay. And here we have these. So the only hollows are these ones, I guess. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Pikachu, Cubone, and Eevee. The rest you can get are Bellsprout, Magnemite, Ghastly, Lickitung, Kangaskhan, Horsey, Electabuzz, and Magmar. So we have Ghastly, we have Lickitung, and we have Bulbasaur. And look at that. Like the, uh, I guess I'll just call it a cereal effect. I mean, I mean it is cereal, isn't it? Yes. I mean, there are lots of circles and lines and dots. It's so pretty. Okay, so that's it. And that's I'm putting it in a sleeve. Before I totally contaminate it with glitter. Sleeve. Yep. There we go. And this one is the Shining Legends Bulbasaur. And let's see, that's the Ultra Prism Lickitung and a Crimson Invasion Gasly. So I'll have to find the right place to put these. Because these are obviously doubles that I have. But anyway, awesome. It's not a Pikachu or Eevee, but Thankfully that TV kind of creeps me out. That won't work. Though, I wouldn't mind these three. Bombs are not my favorite, but that is the most recent release for a Funko Pop. And I've already pre-ordered the Charmander. So ha. Okay. Uh, well, with the help of J underscore Pokemon. I'm just, uh, um, yeah. J the Pokemon Lover is that. And underscores where the spaces are, yes. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's awesome. So I'll just put that in here so I can put these away. So I don't lose them. Okay, so that was just, I figured all. I put these two together because there's only three card packs. So, yeah, that was awesome. I don't know why Bulbasaur's not on the front though, because that's a hollow too. But anyway, yeah. Let's see. I think there's one more for this mini Poke Hall, but stay tuned. <laughs>